Hi everyone, today is Thursday, April 2nd, and today's ELA objective is students will be able to define unknown words by using context clues. So when we read stories, we may not know the definition to every single word, so we need to use context clues to help us figure that definition out. A story, poem, or play may include a word or phrase you don't know. Try using context clues to help you figure out its meaning. Synonyms, antonyms, and other sentences surrounding it often suggest the meaning of an unknown word or phrase. So I'm going to model using context clues and then you'll be doing this independently. My friends and I love adventure stories. We wish we could go exploring with the story characters. That is impossible. But we do learn all sorts of things from these exciting tales. Sometimes we put on a play about a story we're reading. We hold auditions to see who will play each part. Hmm. So I'm wondering what auditions means. We hold auditions to see who will play each part. From the book, we learn where and when the story takes place. Then we take the old clothes and add decorations like sparkling jewels to make costumes. We make the costumes look like clothes the story characters wore. People who see our plays often say the costumes are fantastic. The right costumes help make a play a top-notch success. So now I'm thinking, what does auditions mean and what does top-notch mean? Hmm. Context clues can be used to figure out the meaning of the word auditions. If you read the rest of the sentence, you see auditions help to see who will play each part. So during an audition, someone acts out a part of the story. Auditions must be performances for someone to choose actors. So you need to really dissect the sentence that the word is in to help you find the definition or the meaning. The phrase top notch in the last sentence can also be confusing. Oh. Sorry about that. The word success is in the last sentence. You know that people often say the costumes in the plays are fantastic or excellent. So if the right costumes make the play successful, the phrase top notch must mean great or excellent, right? I dissected that sentence and kind of figured it out like a puzzle. I put together the pieces. I took success, and if the costumes are fantastic, it, fantastic, it must mean the play is successful. So that means top-notch must mean great or excellent. Your assignment today. You're going to reread the magic of a My Mountain Read Works. This is actually found in your packet, or every day I digitally upload it. So every single student in this class has the magic of a mime. You need to reread it and finish answering the questions six to 10. Yesterday you answered questions one to five and answered the question, what are some character traits to describe Becky? But today, since the mini lesson was on context clues, you're going to use context clues to determine the meaning of the word transform and props and you're going to submit that to me on google classroom so you're not just looking up these definitions you're looking in the story for these two words and feel free if you have the packet to underline these words and then you're going to dissect the sentences they're in that means take a part and really look closely to the sentences they're in in order to figure out the meaning of transform and props. It might take some time. You might have to reread the sentence just like I did two or three times. And you can always check your work by once you come up with a definition, kind of fill in that definition into the sentence and see if it makes sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, then it might not be the correct definition. So again, you're answering questions six to 10, which will be checked the day we come back to school and you are digitally uploading your answer for the meaning of transform and props. I want your best work. I want you to try your hardest because if you looked at past assignments, you know I'm grading them and they're getting put directly into the grade book.
Tomorrow is pajama day, so I expect everyone to be nice and comfy and cozy in their pajamas all day. Have a great Thursday.